Hey everybody, Bruce again. Shop update time. This week, uh, really I didn't do that much stuff in the shop. I didn't have that much time this week. But uh, I did do a couple of small things. Actually, the first one was funny. Um, when I was trying to start another project, I was getting really frustrated with the, uh, the fact I couldn't put my GoPro anywhere except for on my work table. And, you know, it's not very handy to put on here, especially when you're doing something and it's shifting itself off. So I ended up making this little uh, mount right here for my tripod. And it's, it's pretty rough, pretty ugly. I just made it real quick um, just to see if it would work. And the other thing I did is I made this uh, little shelf for my workbench. As you can see here, nothing fancy, not much to it. <clears throat> but the other big piece of news is that I have a table saw. That's right, I have a table saw. I bought this two days ago off of the uh, classifieds over here in Switzerland and I ended up only paying $35 for it, 35 Swiss francs, about $35 and uh, I don't know much about it, I know it does work so today I think the plan is that I'm going to uh, kind of go through it and try to see if there's anything wrong, I'll take some of it apart and then check to make sure everything is square and parallel and try to adjust it two square and parallel if it's not so that's pretty much it for today I think we'll see how far I get and I'm thinking about taking these uh, extension wings off because well when I was carrying it in like the this one was bending for one thing so it's not even flat and I think it was already bent once um, and they're kinda I don't know they don't feel that sturdy and I'm not sure if I'll really need them so to save room in the shop I think I might take both of these off and uh, you know, later if I need them, I can always put them back. So yeah, that's today. I'm going to start cleaning this up, taking this apart, and we'll see what we find and see what we learn. This saw is pretty dirty. I don't know if it's been outside or just in storage. I think, um, I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe animal feces or something. Oops. Don't worry, it's plastic. Okay, I've pretty much finished wiping the machine down just from the outside real quick, and I am pretty sure that these are like rat turds all over it, because now that I'm starting to wipe it down, it's starting to stink, so I'm uh, not sure how I'm going to solve that problem. Probably just keep scrubbing on it, get all the spots off. So uh, I guess the next logical thing would be to take this guard off and then maybe get to the blade. Just to take a look, see what it looks like in there. Oh, that was easy. Got some spider webs in there. And it's just plastic. I don't know if that's good or what. Okay, well, I see a blade. Looks like it has carbide inserts on it. I'm not familiar enough with saws to know if you can look at them and say if they're sharp or not. I don't. I, I don't know. I've never. You know. I've never owned a uh, table saw before, so I'm not sh completely sure on what you're supposed to do. I did look at a couple videos on YouTube, so I have a little bit of an idea. I know. You know, the blade being square to these. Uh, I don't know what they're called. These rails. These slots is really important, obviously. So I guess maybe the first thing I'll do is try to figure out a way to check how square the blade is to the slots and then also make sure the blade is uh, you know square in this direction too so uh, hmm, yeah I guess I'll start on that let me try to wipe up some of this sawdust first anyway I guess to check the squareness of this blade that's the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure it's actually um, perpendicular to the table so not sure what this does Oh, I see. I think I understand what's going on. So this you turn to change the angle, and then this locks it at that angle, so you can... tilt it all the way up to 45 degrees. Looks like about 73 millimeters. I would say that's pretty darn square.
Yeah. I think that's good. I don't know how well it's going to turn up on the camera, but I think that's really good. Interestingly though, if I try to look at it on this side compared to this side of the table, it's not perfectly square. I <laughs> I guess I'd have to believe that it's really this table that's not square right here. It's a little bit lower because there's quite a gap there. So, But this side is perfect. I wonder if there's a mechanical stop or something that's preventing it from going that little tiny bit farther. I kind of found a way where I can set this up and kind of see how wobbly this blade is because when I was running it, it felt like the whole machine was wobbling a lot. I don't know if it really was or if it was just my inexperience with these uh, table saws. So I decided to try and see if I can figure out how wobbly it really is. So as I turn the blade, So it looks like my blade is about 15 thousandths out. Okay, I taped it and I can see, mm, yeah, pretty much you can see the piece of tape there and then there. They're almost across from each other, which tells me this whole, whole thing is just crooked. So how could it be crooked? Could it be the blade? Or could it be the, the arbor? The shaft? What's going on? Well, first thing I need to do is be able to take this, this blade off, and I don't have the right tools for it, so I'm going to go ahead and measure the sizes here, and uh, next time I come, I'll be able to take that blade off. Maybe I'll have a new one by then, and I'll just stick a new one on and see what happens. I decided I'd go ahead and tip it over and take a look underneath. I'm going to take this uh, plastic guard off and just see what's inside. I don't really know what I'll find. Well, I see there's a belt, so it's belt powered right there. This is the mechanism for uh, adjusting the blade height. Pretty basic. Oh, and I see that that's where it stops, where these nuts are set. So if you wanted to, you could possibly change that a little bit. So that, I think that's directly where my hand is. So I'm turning this, this gear, and it's pivoting somewhere up there. Okay, after playing around with it for a while, I think I see how the stop system works for the uh, tilt. I believe it's these two bolts on the outside here, and I'm guessing that there's some kind of cam washer on the other side and as you turn them, let me see if I can get in here, show you what I mean. Look at that upper one and see how the body of the, hold on, let me move you. See how the body is moving up there? It's, it's going to hit, it's going to hit that uh, bolt, but not really the bolt, probably. It's hard, really hard to get in here. It, it ends up hitting the, the mount against that guy there. So, today wasn't a total waste, I guess. Um, I cleaned up the saw, kind of learned about the saw a little bit. Anyway, I think that's about all I have for today. I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean out this a little, clean this out a little bit on the bottom with the rag and remove some of these pieces that fell in there. Put the bottom back on, sweep up here, clean up the mess and go home. So really not much done today, just kind of goofing around with the saw. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time. Ciao.